YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Redman17. This video right here is a different little video. Like, y'all ain't posted a video like this on my channel before. But, I mean, shit, I was watching this video and I gotta get this shit out. I'm driving right now, so bear with me. Uh, the fucking Miami Marlins. The fucking shitty ass Miami Marlins. They got a they got a partner with their best player on the team, Jazz Chisholm. They ain't fucking with the kid. They not fucking with the kid, bro. For whatever fucking reason, I don't know. Don't make sense. He the best player on the team. Supposedly they had like a little team meeting, team players only meeting or whatever last week or so. And one of the main points of interest was Jazz Chisholm. Basically the stuff he doing on the field, the way he playing the game, his swag. They not fucking with his swag. They not fucking with the way he hit home runs. They not fucking with his drip. He the most marketable player on their team. Honestly, he probably one of the most marketable players in the fucking bigs. But outside of Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, Shohei, Fernando, outside of your superstars, like rising superstars, Jazz Chisholm, he's up there. Like that level of the fucking marketability that Vladdy Jr. be getting, ain't no reason why Jazz Chisholm can't be getting it. He hit a 260. He got like 12 bombs, probably leading his team in RBIs. He damn near leading his team in the fucking triple crown, except they got somebody that's hitting like 315. Uh, yeah, somebody, don't know who, I don't even know who it is. It's just some some dude hitting a 315 on the Miami Marlins. But that's the thing though, it's the Miami Marlins. So like, I mean, they don't got clout like that. They barely filling up their seats. If they wasn't in Miami, they would not. nobody would be going to their games. And the people that do go to their games, I guarantee you they going to watch Jazz Chisholm. I guarantee he's the fan favorite. If you did a poll, ask to all the Marlins fans who their favorite player is, I guarantee you they'll tell you it's Jazz Chisholm. And if you're watching this video right here and you don't know who Jazz Chisholm is, if you're not a baseball fan, if you ain't a baseball person, I would say go watch you some Jazz Chisholm videos. Just just check the kid out, bro. Like, he dude is cold, buddy is nice. Like, honestly, he remind me of me back when I was in the field. You know what I'm saying? Like, back in my playing days, kind of like that. I mean, an energetic player, damn near carries the team. If he go, the team go. If he don't go, the team don't go. If he ball out, chances are they're going to win. If he don't ball out, chances are they're going to lose. That's how it is, though. That's how it is, but they ain't. I mean, shit, I guess some dudes on the Marlins, some of his own teammates, they got, they got to tell him to chill. When in reality... He could be telling them to step their motherfucking game up. They need to step their motherfucking game up. They don't want to run Jazz Chisholm off just like they did the rest of their superstars. They had fucking, they had fucking John Carlos Stanton who killing it for the Yankees. They had fucking uh, Christian Yelich who got a fucking MVP with the Brewers. And they had Marcelo Zuna who damn near won the Triple Crown during that COVID season, the 60 game season. Marcelo Zuna was not far away from running the Triple Crown. And now we got people on the Marlins bitching about Jazz Chisholm. I don't even know who the fuck these Marlins players are, bro. Like, they're not, they not a squad. They don't have a squad. The only thing they got going for them is Jazz Chisholm. Like, straight up, bro. Take Jazz Chisholm off the Marlins. Take Sandy Alcantara off the, Mar off the Marlins. The only reason I said Sandy Alcantara because he a pitcher. He, he only play every five games. He make probably 30, 30 to 32 appearances in a season if he stay healthy. Is Jazz Chisholm, he an everyday player, second baseman. Damn near 162 games. 162 chance that he could fucking suit up and play in the game, you know what I'm saying? On any given day. So, if his teammates hating, they need to get some pussy. Word to Lil Wayne, if you hating, you just need some pussy. She fucked up when she gave me some pussy. You know what I'm saying? That's what they need to do. They need to do that shit, up their skills. Uh, Fucking... Do some shit that the kids like, cause I I guarantee you, like, the kids love Jazz Chisholm. The hair, the chains, the drip, the swag, the energy. That's a dude that I would want on my team, and I wouldn't want anybody saying shit about him. Go. Go. Shit done. Nah, someone in the road fucking around. I ain't got time for this bullshit.